Hi guys, how are you today? Good. Good. Thank you. Good to see you. Uh, congratulations on the film. Um, clearly a family affair, uh, Janine, yeah. produced by your husband. Yeah. Of course, Billy, you've been yeah. good friends with this family forever and ever. So tell me a little bit about, Billy, we'll start with you, about when you got the script, what kind of struck you? What What did you like about playing John? And and, and was it a bit, a bit of a challenge for you? Um, I, I, I get characters like that sent to me all the time, but um, it's what you make of them. And I just saw, uh, how can I put it? Uh, Jonathan Sothcott, my yeah. producer, dressed me for this, you know? Um, I usually dress in shorts and a pair of um, sneakers, you know, um, and a T-shirt. Yeah. And he had me dressed up like, well, in fact, he put this on me today. Yeah, so you look very good today. You both look lovely, but I, I, like, nice. I like that yeah. sweater and the, I like it, it looks great. <laughs> It's very American, New York. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, I, I just like the script because it was a script that I've been wanting to do for a long time, um, based on uh, a, 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 some... Um, inspired by. Sorry? Inspired by. Inspired by, or based on. Well, no, my, my thoughts were based on oh. and inspired by a, a film I saw many years ago yeah. called... Um, uh, What's it called? Paint house. Sorry, I don't do this uh, very much, and and, and it um, it throws me a bit. Yeah, it's, um, a, it's okay. You can't go back over and wipe it out. You said it, and it's it. You know, it, um, yeah. Um, and it was called Penthouse, and it was a home invasion film. Right. And I thought it was done really well. It was done on a low budget, um, and it won all sorts of awards. It, it made its money back about a hundred times over, um, and. Uh, I thought it should be redone. It, it stuck in my mind all these years. Yeah. And I've been talking to Jonathan over dinner, over drunken dinners and lunches and breakfasts, that we should do something like this. Well, he came up with this. Yeah. And I think he came up with something that we can be pleased with. And, um, oh, happy. absolutely. And Janine, I want to ask you about Sadie because um, she's no shrinking violet. She's a she's tough not. cookie, huh? <laughs> she really is. And I think that she shows all of her different facets in this film. You know, she's a very loyal um, woman. She's yeah. a mother and she's very loyal to that as well and, and very giving, you know, her daughter's gay. She's very accepting of that. She wants to do a dinner party to to welcome her into the family. And, you know, and, um, you know, I think that she's got, she's got very, you know, she's like the film, it has lots of layers. You know, just when you think one thing's going to happen, then there's somebody else, and then the brother, then there's Zoe, then there's there's so many different things happening in this film, and and I think Sadie plays to all of them, which is I think is fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I agree with you for sure. Um, and, and Billy, should we feel sorry for John Morgan or not? What do you think? Um, well, John <laughs> Morgan doesn't feel sorry for anybody, um, but. I think you should do because he really didn't actually want this to happen. This right. wasn't in, in, in his remit. Um, he came back here to present a hundred thousand pound check to charity, yes. and, yes. and he did that. And he does that every <laughs> year, or you, you know, every two years. Um, um, the thing about John Morgan is he believes only in loyalty. Yeah, loyalty means everything to him, and that that's why immediately he kills the guy in the in the van because. He's disloyal, it, although it wasn't him at all. Um, it was his, uh, okay, are we allowed to say, it was his brother. Yes. Yeah, well, you've seen the film, so. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, his brother, nasty, nasty, nasty man, for sure. I think the thing about it, though, Bonnie, is that, you know, there are no good guys in this film. Everybody oh. is on their different revenge plots. So I think, you know, I do think it's it's quite a, a different film that you actually do feel sorry for. You know, John Morgan is a really bad person. Right. He's a, he's a, you know, I don't know if I'm allowed to say what he does, but, you know, he, he is, you've seen the film, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. so he, he child traffics. He, he does, like, the worst things possible. Right. He blows people up because they're disloyal. And yet, in the end, we actually are rooting for him because we feel sorry for him because Billy plays the character so charismatically. Yes. He's a wonderfully handsome um, man. And, you know, so all the women are going to love him anyway, like they all do. And and so, you know, you're rooting for the wrong people, but then there's no good guys in this film. Yes, you know? it's true. Um, everyone's trying to kill everybody. So I think that it's a really 
sort of, as, as we say, morally ambiguous film. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so Billy, let's just go back to that little comment from Janine about uh, your good looks. And uh, you have a very big birthday coming up in a few months. I want to know how you stay so young. It's amazing. You look fabulous. <laughs> it's the one on press ups. <laughs> That's the secret. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, not, I'm, I'm just me. Um, I, I, I'm all fur coat and no knickers. Do, do you understand that? <laughs> yeah. Underneath, I'm not like that at all. I see. It's all smoke and mirrors, right? It's smoke and mirrors. In England, we say fur coat, no knickers. You know? <laughs> I love it. I'm going to start using that because I'm from Canada. We're almost cousins, so we, it, it's all good, right? But honestly, I got to say, I mean, look, Billy, You've been doing this a long time. Uh, you know, we, here in Canada, of course, we love the East Enders and of course the Bill, everything that you've been in. And these are shows that you did so many years ago, but people still talk about them. And also with COVID, you know, people are re-finding these shows. Maybe if they hadn't watched them then, they were watching them now. What's that like to walk down the street and get recognized probably by, you probably stopped every two minutes. Well, it's not every two minutes, but it's quite a bit. Uh, but it's 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 never gone into relapse, if you like. Uh, ever since I've left the Bill or EastEnders, or I, I do, a, a, I'm the voice of Captain Price on Call of Duty. Yes. Um, I get people coming up to me saying, for all different reasons, I, you're him out of EastEnders, you're him out of this, you're him out of... Well, I want them to say, you're him out of this film, um, um, or our next film which is Renegades, which we just finished. Um, th th that's the sort of thing I would like them to do, um, but they're not, they're obsessed with EastEnders and uh, The Bill and uh, uh, Call of Duty. Yeah, it's, it's great. Well, it, it, listen, it's good that they're still recognizing you and, and loving you, we, we do. And, and quickly, Janine, I just want to ask you, I mean, just working with this guy, I mean, I know you guys are friends and your family yeah. friends and stuff, but to have that opportunity to work so closely with Billy must have been wonderful for you. Well, yeah, I mean, it's not like working. It's just, you know, it, it's not work when it's with Billy. We have so much fun together. We're really, really good friends. And like you say, practically family. So yeah, I mean, I learned so much from Billy um, and he's a natural. Yeah, what is it about a good British crime drama? Why do we love them so much, Billy? Um, well, we had R Robin Hood, um, yeah. we had Turpin, we had we have all those anti-heroes. Yeah. Um, people like a good villain, they really do. I mean, uh, well, they they love the mafia. They love. The, uh, can, uh, uh, do you have mafia in Canada? We do. We do. Yeah, <laughs> I, I imagine. We do. But you know, a good um, uh, gangster film. Yeah. Uh, like Godfather and uh, all all those sort of films. I mean, they attract a huge audience. For some reason, um, people are enamored of them, of, of these characters. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I mean, the first thing I go to when I go on um, Netflix is I go on uh, crime films and yeah. uh, and I watch the same films over and over again, you know? Yeah, because they're great and they're classics. They're amazing. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, listen, thank you both uh, for your time today. I really, really appreciate it. It's a real pleasure to talk to you both and best of luck with the film and um, just keep yourself healthy and safe and uh, have a great day. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, Bonnie. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.